What's up guys, Bear Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today is gonna be the day about Andrea, the brand new Light Faction Priest. We kind of need like our final verdict, but we've also come across something that is actually a really, really huge bug. So there is an issue with Andrea's active ability. It's not working properly when he uses it on himself or when one of the heals hits himself. So, typically what's supposed to happen, and we actually had it wrong at first, because that's the only way we saw it, was technically, Andrea, when he uses his active ability, it heals the lowest target, and then if another ally becomes the new lowest HP target, it's supposed to jump to the next one. Every time we've used him, when it hits himself, it only heals himself and continues to overheal to oblivion. So there's a bug. Anytime that even during the chain, say it heals a Norma, then it heals something else, and then it jumps to Andrea, it will can continue healing Andrea even if the other targets are lower HP. So we've sent bug reports off through the community managers to the development team. Hopefully they fix it. We're going to show you how it's supposed to work here first, and then we're going to jump on our main and show you what usually ends up happening when Andrea is typically one of the lowest HP. So we're going to do a whole breakdown on the hero as well, how to build him, how to set him up. He's actually really solid of a hero. There's even a spot for him in the end game. Is he going to stay there? We don't know necessarily. He, he's he got some good uses, though. He's definitely an A-plus tier hero, a, a hero, somewhere in there. Probably not up there with the S tiers, but he's still really, really good against. That's just my experiences. I've been playing with him off and on this entire week. Let's show you how it's supposed to look, and then we'll show you what it happens with the bug. So we're, for this first test, we're gonna show you what it looks like. We're just gonna use a level uh, 100 five-star Andrea. So typically, you're only gonna get like three ticks off on this here because the basic only has a 30% chance to get an extra layer. It just usually doesn't happen. Uh, the battle starts, you only get one layer as well. So you'll only see a couple ticks here, but we're gonna jump into broken spaces where I was testing it. We're not gonna use a pet. We're just gonna use a lot of low, low HP targets essentially. Throw it in here and we'll see once we get to a round two active, how the active is supposed to work because in this situation, it actually ends up being perfect here. So we have low target, low health, it goes over, it heals, heals, and then it jumps over to the next lowest HP, which was that Alaria. So let's speed up to an active again so you guys can take a look at it. We're gonna have a lot more people with low HP, so this next round is gonna be a really good way to look at it. So let's see how this works here. Come on, oh, he's silenced, of course. So we're actually gonna have a lot of ticks here for this active. It's gonna jump back and forth. So it goes Alaria back and forth, back and forth. You see it kind of goes, it jumps between the targets that it needs to heal. And that is the way I guess it's designed and intended to be. We didn't realize that at first because well, it just didn't work that way when we were using him that first night because he was almost always the lowest HP hero. Oh, see right there, it hit him there and then stopped. That should have had a fourth bounce there, but it did hit himself and then it stopped. Let's see if we can get this going here. No, come on, one more round. Here we go, here we go. This one should just stick to both the Alary and the normal, just bouncing back and forth between them. It did actually get one to him as well. So that's pretty much what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to jump between targets. That is ultimately the way his active ability is supposed to work. And if it does work that way, he's a lot, lot stronger because then it's essentially a perfect smart heal. So next up on the main account, we're going to show you kind of what Andrea does in a situation where he heals himself first and then it only heals himself. Uh, I do want to try to get him a more attack oriented build. I wonder if we have any good artifacts. Let me grab, you know, let me grab like a crown or something like that. No, not a crown. What would be a good one to show him with? Maybe a magic stone sword? Yeah, give him extra attack. We're going to go like a full attack build on him with an attack attack stone. We got one attack node here. We have no void imprints, but I'm going to just jump in against a couple of people here. We're just going to show off what it looks like. We're going to throw our full transcendence team in here. And then honestly, let's throw both of them in in this situation. So one of them has a very weak one. 
The other one's much stronger. Let's get to their active abilities. Hopefully, they get to the active abilities, that is. We'll have to see. They are going to be the slowest on our team. They might be very weak. We'll have to see. I might have to fight someone even stronger, honestly. So the Jara is getting super low. Uh, okay, we have one with energy here. Let's see what happens. So this one might not be a great example. And actually, I'd love to see how this interacts with the queen. I'm guessing the queen had a bunch of curses on there. <laughs> that was really interesting. It looked like it just didn't heal for anything. All right, now we should get a heal, hopefully, if he doesn't die. But what's going to happen here... See, once it hits himself, you'll notice it started on Sword Flash. It then hit himself and stayed on him. It should have kept bouncing back and forth between the two targets there. Uh, but, of course, it didn't because it's just not working right. The second he hits himself with the heal, it just instantly stops. It's just done for. It doesn't continue to bounce. Nothing else happens. Uh, it's just not a great... Not a great bug to have because it really makes a huge difference in the value of these heroes. Let's see if we can even get them to an active, honestly, before like the entire team dies. So they do provide a ton of healing based on when an ally dies. So that is a nice little benefit to have, but you got to have them void and printed if you're even considering using them in the end game. And you'll notice here again, you just see it hit the Andrea. It just sticks on the Andrea. Nothing else happens. Let's see if we can get this last one right here. Well, that didn't work out. We got the W, but not exactly what I wanted to happen. You know what we should do? Let's grab these Demon Bells right here. Throw them on. Let's try doing that one more time. Just to see, since they're slow anyway, if they do get a round one active off, it's going to be perfectly fine because we're going to have people very weak from taking the hits from that energy feed jar on the other side. We should have to wait a little bit longer. I'm trying to not cheat ahead too much. All right, let's see what happens. I think they're going to get their big actives off please don't get petrified okay so this is going to be a perfect example we have both of them with energy everybody's low on hp so it should go around healing for a ton so let's see what happens after this right here get the pings going all right come on is it our turn it's still not our turn yet oh the big heal that kind of screwed it up but we still have a couple people low sadly he is not low at all where is that healing going you notice that there's absolutely no healing going to that sword flash. That is another huge bug that I just noticed. What is going on with that? That happened multiple times where someone had unbending proc. There was no healing curse and that happened multiple times. Did you see that? That was really interesting. Like really, really interesting. Let's run it back again and see if we can get that to kind of replicate what happened there might be a couple different bugs with andrea's abilities because that time it looked like they just didn't heal period correct that's what i got from it let everybody attack before we get a chance <laughs> i think tix has got to go next all right now it should be our turn right there's no healing curse on either one of them let's see what these active abilities do so yeah, something weird is going on where they're, if maybe, oh, they can't be healed because of the Jara. That's why Barry Gaming stupid. <laughs> just ignore that part. That part is not a bug. The whole part, honestly, you know what? That just makes Jara's value so much more. That freeze, not the petrify, but the freeze is very strong against Andrea right now because let's just double check and make sure. The freeze enemies who current HP cannot be higher than 50%. Uh, let's see. The freeze effect. Heroes inflicted by cold. Release their active skills. Basic good counterattacks. Cannot restore HP. Yes, that's what it is. So that is a pretty hard counter to Andrea right now. Is that Jara? Let's see if I can fight someone kind of weaker here. 
I want to throw an Andrea in versus someone that's not with an endgame lineup. Because I really want to try to highlight what is going on with it. Everybody is so strong here. Why is everybody on my list so strong? Okay, we can do this. Let's see if we can... Um... Honestly, let's just throw three Andre in and three two C's because that's going to be a really bad lineup. <laughs> let's see what happens. Hopefully, we can get them to use their active abilities on themselves. So the heel goes off there. You'll notice it hits the Andrea. So it's interesting. It's only if it hits itself. If another Andrea hits an Andrea, it doesn't seem to be an issue. See right here, that one right there healed only the Andrea who cast it, which is very interesting. So what happens with this active ability? Does this active now... It does jump around. So it's only if Andrea hits himself, not Andrea heals a uh, Andrea. So when you have two of them, they can heal each other just fine. But this one right here is going to go to heal himself. And it's never going to jump over to the 2C Lago on the front row. So that is the big, big issue there that is just causing all those issues. So hopefully that kind of gives you a good example of what's going on with an Andrea and what is bugged with the actability. If it tries to heal, it hits himself. It'll only stay on himself. If it hits another one or another target, it will bounce around until it hits himself and then it'll stay on himself. So hopefully they get this fixed. Otherwise, this glorious eulogy is going to be pretty much a bad nerfed version. If this goes through and fixes... He might become an extremely strong hero, but again, as you saw, Jara kind of can counter that with that freeze. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to have a video coming out real soon about how to build Andrea. A lot of people have been using him with, uh, with a crown, attack HP nodes, attack HP stone. Seems like the best well-rounded build. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.